So for this tutorial, um, I'll be making basically a row light up and then having that row go up and down the whole launch pad. Um, so let's just create a new effect, uh, call it number five as it's number five, and then I'll put it uh, here because this is button number five. So uh, I won't do it here just so you guys really get used to having the launch pad split in two. So this is number five. And let's see here. Um, uh, 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 okay, so obviously we've got the same problem. We want it to start down here, so we need to pitch it down by four. Okay, and then let's just create the whole row already. So you should know this off by heart by now. Um, make sure you don't put it after. It always needs to be contained within the chain. So this is the chain. If you put it after, it's basically going to do the. It's going to apply this code to all of these effects. So just make sure that you always uh, have it contained in inside here. So we've got this, um, and let's just make it off by heart. Um, we know that this creates a row, and then we need to send it to the other half of the launch pad. So 64 buttons divided by half, 32. So 32, boom, we've got the row. So now what we want to do is, if we put the arpeggiator after, we already know it's going to arpeggiate it like this, and that's not what we want want it to arpeggiate vertically. And I want it to go up and down. And I just found this out, this is kind of weird. So I thought to save some CPU, I could just um, put the distance to four. So that makes it vertical. Put seven steps, so it repeats for seven times. So it has this by default and then seven. So it goes all the way up to eight. And it goes up, but if I put it to up and down, for some reason, it doesn't work. So I was a bit weirded out by that, um, but no worries. Um, so we'll keep it at up and down. I will just get rid of the steps, okay? Um, so that's an important. Uh, what we want to do is um, uh, we, we basically need to put a chord before it and have it go four, eight, and 12. So I'll just turn everything off except for the, this. So we can see now we've got a, um, a row lighting up. And then let's just add 16. So we take it up here. So 16 moves it up here. Uh, and you, you can always do it um, like this. Just keep on pressing the button and, um, and see where it fits. But we know it's 16 mathematically. So we've got this. Then we've got the arpeggiator going up and down. And that kind of sucks right now. So let's do 50 and gate 200. Let's try 150. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Um, and then all we have to do is turn the chord on. So now we've got half of it going. And then now we've got this whole thing going. Um, we can play around with the gate, make it like really glitchy or really smooth. So I'll just see something that I like the look of. I kind of like the look of this right here. I'll just set it to 100 just to be, nah, I don't like that. Okay. This is fine, 125, whatever. And there we have it. So that's something moving. For the next tutorial, I'll do something similar. I'll take this concept, um, but I'll actually show you guys how to make a wave. So it sounds advanced um, compared to this stuff, but it's actually really easy to make. So next tutorial is a good one. If you have any comments, by the way, uh, or any requests or questions, just leave a comment by, uh, below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers.